what is this book? It takes the idea of going, are there aliens there? We don't yet know. And therefore, where could they live? Um, and what might they be like? And how do you create a solar system and a planet? And how does life start on the planet? And how do you find other planets? And even if we do find them, could we communicate with them? So it's all the other t issues that are raised. Sadly, there isn't a bit where you turn the page and there's a picture of me standing next to Groot and you go, ta-da. What are you hoping that the young readers will get from Is There Anybody Out There? On every page, it should be where you go, oh, wow, I didn't know that's interesting, and also a laugh. So if I'm hitting that every page that goes along, that's great. In all my books, there's a bit where I go, hey, why did you ask your mum or dad or whatever? Do they know this? Like, whatever. And see if, if they, because they won't because they obviously won't so they'll be learning as much if not more than you are so watch that creep across their faces so do you think first of all the aliens exist secondly if they did exist or if they do what do you think they would look like yes definitely but the question is where and what stage would they be at and what would they look like i mean look if you ask somebody say what do you think a life on on earth looks like and you have to go well it could be a slug a parrot a gorilla i mean it is the variety of life here is ridiculous. Now put that on a planet where it's cloudy 24 hours a day, or it's all underwater, or it's made of different gases. The, uh, and tell me that you'd be able to make any prediction what they look like. The secret plan is that in 20 years time, uh, or 30 years time, when I'm an old man sitting on a park bench feeding ducks, right? And just throwing bread to the ducks, someone will walk past in a lab coat uh, on their way to receive their Nobel Prize and will turn and go, hey, are you doing? <laughs> I read your book when I was at school.